can get excited. Welcome back as we enter into a very important discussion for the development of not just rugby, of young people. Now, the inaugural Cape Flats Sevens Tournament, which takes place this coming weekend at the Athlone Stadium, is aimed at giving schools and players the opportunity to participate in a televised tournament held at a professionally equipped venue. This makes a difference, trust me. Now, schools will be invited to participate and bring their friends, bring their families, bring the other members of their surrounding communities, bring their tribe along for the course of these two days of this competition that should be scintillating. Now, along with the SABC, thank you guys, the city of Cape Town has also, they've partnered and endorsed the tournament, and I'm so glad that they are backing this, and here to tell us more about their involvement in the project is former Springbok prop and deputy mayor of Cape Town, Eddie Andrews himself. Eddie, welcome back. It's crazy to me that I'm getting more excited about a junior sevens tournament than I am about the Springboks playing rugby, but this is where you leave me today. I love this, buddy. And for someone who's invested so much of yourself and your time into rugby, how excited are you that this is happening for the Cape Flats? There's a saying, Graham, that says, don't despise the days of small beginnings. Mm. It's the inaugural event, and we're very excited about that, offering a platform to young girls and boys who attend schools in the Cape Flats. And it's about the ones and the twos and, and not the masses, I think. Yeah. That is what excites me. And the fact that it'll be televised. Uh, SABC, thank you so much for the partnership. Uh, they've been driving aggressively to get the campaign off uh, the 3rd and the 4th of September. And that's what it's about. These youngsters playing at a stadium, playing each other, uh, 32 teams, uh, 400 players playing this weekend. It's going to be amazing. Wow. I want to know what the conversion rate of seeing those players and see them climb that success ladder. Because I have this crazy feeling about the Western Cape in particular, but you could probably say the same about the Eastern Cape yeah. and, and Pumalanga and all of these areas that might not get the focus. Maybe a couple of players look like Lucanio Am and these guys have raised the stakes a little bit for mm. some of these areas. But by and large, we don't tap into this massive pool of talent. And then every now and then we do, and then the world is blown away yeah. by these talents that are revealed. Yet if we just focused on providing the platform at the right developmental stage, we would see droves of these talented play com players coming through. Why is this so important? Why do we need this tournament right now? Graham, I remember when I played for the Stormers, I stayed out in Mitchell's Plain. I was driving a yellow Opel Cadet car and I drove to Kailicha and I fetched a colleague of mine, Jongen Nekwe, Nokwe. Yeah. And we drove out to Belleville where the Stormers Western Province were playing. Unbeknown to Jongen and I, we both up, uh, ended up playing for the Springboks, um, you know, and rep representing our, our country. And, and that's what it's about. It's about the small beginnings, creating those pathways and opportunities that that individual will hold on long enough and be exposed to that, develop as a player, and then, of course, break through the ranks. And that's why it's so important to have events like this. Uh, we spoke earlier about, you know, the Cape Town Tens and all those other events that happens, mm -hmm. and no one shines the light on the talent of the schools on the Cape Flats. And over the past couple of weeks, we've received numerous emails from schools outside of Cape Town who say, we want to be part of it but we can't this time that, yeah. they want to be piece of that and and we don't have a title sponsor this year but i know next year we won't be yeah. selling a blueprint we'll be selling a model that has worked it's about the socio-economic impact and that's what it's about we want more john gnorquist so we want where ed andrews and if looking at sia colisi he's his road to fame it's all about that and, and creating those pathways where the opportunities identifying the talent you said something there socio-economic and there's a reason why the city of cape town is doing this and not some Sports Federation. Yeah. What is that connection? What do we see in terms of the positive spin-off when communities see themselves represented in these teams, where they see one of their own, someone who looks and sounds mm. just like them, taking that step up? What does that mean for a community? You see hope. You see hope and uh, you then know that you don't have to conform to the social ills within your community. You can achieve success irrespective. That's what you see and that's why it's important and uh, that's why this tournament is so important as well. That you, there's a, there's a social ill, we're saying don't conform, you have to offer a healthy alternative. Yeah. And this is what it's about this weekend. Oh, in so many senses and for a young person looking to transcend their situation, yeah. sport can do it. That's why we use sport as the narrative of this country, I think, because it does allow you to transcend. 
most important question how can people get involved what can we do what's the deal here so of course uh, you can get involved perhaps next year this weekend is the tournament and uh, next year we're still looking to secure a title sponsor Come on. we're looking at uh, you know keep fortune this year we've got a score who sponsored kits for every single team wow. one more uh, one less barrier that those teams have to participate and play so next year if you're going to be a title sponsor we want to get the kids some boots to play and some socks and feed them for the entire weekend please look on the the, web, the website also on the facebook page as well and contact us okay flat sevens that's where you need to go and confirm your interest to be part of the second cape town flats tournament next year I absolutely love it. And trust me, there are organizations in the feeding space, in the economic development space, yeah. there are organizations that can join this yeah. because we're not just working towards discovering a future Springbok, a future Eddie Andrews, which no. I have no doubt we will, but we're looking at developing an entire community because it's absolutely uh, that right, man. The value off the field as well. That's what's important because sport, you know, you've got life skills you learn as a player and that will also ha add value to the individual off the field. They're, they're, the goings, the place of influences and the pathways that they would like to pursue. Changing the game. Changing you know, the game. You might end up becoming the deputy mayor of Canada. You could, you could. <laughs> might. We are so proud of you, sir. Thank you so much for the time and the energy that you're investing in this beautiful game of ours because it is part of the South African narrative. We can change the reality and sport is how we're going to do it.